Hey, Tim Sykes here with your daily video lesson. Today is a very simple lesson, but don't underestimate the power of simplicity, especially with penny stocks. Simple patterns, simple rules work very well, and they're very reliable. It's not an exact science, remember that. This is an art, that's what makes it difficult. But at the same time, it's good to learn from the past. So if by the end of this video you understand what I'm saying, please leave three words as a comment that say, respect the past. And before I get into today's video lesson, I have to tell you, this Profitly sale is ending in 24 hours. All these DVDs, all these newsletters, 30, 40, 50, 60% off. Final, final, final 24 hours. Um, the pre-sale on my two newest DVDs will go an extra few days uh, because it's 50% off until I finish it. And these two DVDs, Trader Checklist Part Deux and Penny Stocking Framework Part Deux will be available for the next few days um, while I'm still working on these DVDs. But all these other DVDs, um, you know, Trading Tickers, which is, I think, such required watching from Tim Grittani, over three dozen live trades, and you can see his whole journey. I think he made this when he was just passing like two and a half or three million. Now he's passing four million uh, in profits. Spike Ability, if you want to learn how to buy uh, breakouts and dip buys and penny stocking, penny stocking part de, which are the absolute basics. And now penny stocking framework too has been working very well lately. And Tim line, a lot of people don't like Tim line, um, you know, enough to, to really study it. And that's a mistake because I go into how to trade at different times during the day. I understand, you know, studying isn't fun. Okay. Uh, a lot of these DVDs, a lot of these study guides, they're very, very heavy stuff. Quant Trading 101, if you want to get into algorithms and stuff like that. Bitcoin, it's not necessarily the most fun. But at the same time, if you don't study, it's even less fun to lose a lot of money and be confused. So I'm not going to lie to you and say, hey, studying is so great. It's like I'm like your parent trying to tell you to eat your Brussels sprouts and broccoli. And I know when you're growing up, as a kid, you know, Brussels sprouts and broccoli, it's not tasty, it's not good, but it's good for you. And these guides are the same for your financial future. Um, you know, ignore me at your own risk, but this is the final 24 hours. Also final 24 hours of this Stocks to Trade birthday special. You can hear I'm losing my voice because I'm staying up, I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible. Um, I'm chatting with a lot of you guys all the time. And I'm trying to get you to use these tools. Stocks to trade, we don't make any money on. Uh, it's tools with scans and news and charts. And trust me, you need it. If you haven't read my recent blog post, do that. There's a great blog post on timothysykes.com, 10 ways not to blow up or even lose big. And this is kind of what today's uh, lesson is about because I see a lot of people making trades that not necessarily the smartest trades, and even if you don't eventually lose big this time, you know, you're playing with fire. And when you, you play with fire enough times, even if you think that you're, you know, amazing and you're never going to lose and you have such confidence because you're a newbie and you haven't learned that anything can happen, you will get burned eventually. And I want you to learn to respect the past. So what is this simplistic video lesson that I'm talking about today? Very simple. When you see two or three big green days on penny stocks, understand that the odds dramatically flip on day three to the odds favoring it being a red day. IFON is a prime candidate. It has gone up a lot in two days. It's tested a dollar a share nearly twice. It squeezed a lot of shorts. It's had massive volume. On day three, tomorrow when the stock market reopens, the odds, I don't know the exact number, I'm not good at math, but I tell you the odds of it being red on the day are huge. Um, and, you know, this is a potential short for me. That said, when I was looking at shorting it, you know, the first two days, shorting it on the first green day is scary. I know a lot of people are like, hey, I shorted at one, covered at 90, 80, 70. Okay, you can do that sometimes, but if you short these low float runners on day one, especially towards the end of the week. You know, this was a, a little bit of a different circumstance where it was a big Thursday runner. So I understand, you know, it's not Friday. The stock is up on, on literally hot air. Um, I, I don't mind shorting on a Thursday on a first green day when it's up this much. 
Um, but understand that that is very, very risky if this had been a Friday. Uh, because Friday plays can go further than you think. And it even tried. It looked good, like a good short Friday morning, and then it came back with a vengeance. MTBC, same exact thing. Two days, look at the third red day. This is a great potential short. And after the first red day, it becomes easier to short. <clears throat> Excuse me. So understand that the first two green days, you got to be long biased. You know, I know a lot of you guys who were buying this in the 90s, a dollar a share, a dollar 10, selling a dollar 20, a dollar 30, a dollar 40, a dollar 50. Some of you guys even held till two. That's a good play. But when you guys are chasing it, you know, when a stock is already up from 50 cents and I see some of you guys buying it here at two, and I'm just thinking, like, what are you guys doing? Like, yeah, it could take off, right? There are some that go truly supernova. But you don't want to risk being there, especially big. I saw some people in other chat rooms who were buying big at two-ish, and they're like, this time it's going to keep going. I see three, four, five. And I was like, why are you so aggressive, you know? If they had known about this stock usually, or this kind of a stock usually having a red day on day three, I think that they would not have necessarily been buying so much. I'm glad that it wasn't my student. If it was my student, I would have called them out in this video. So it's very fortunate. But I don't teach everybody, and there's a lot of you know wannabe teachers, a lot of bad rules floating around out there. And if you encourage your student to buy a stock that's already quadrupled in two days on the small chance that it could keep going. You know, you're just, you're asking for hurting and I hate that. So be very careful who you learn from. Learn from the past. The past should be your history teacher. So while it's possible that it could have kept going, the odds, especially on day three, I would venture to say that the odds were less than 10 to 15% possibility of it really spiking here on day three. And props to some of you guys who shorted in the high ones and covered in the low ones. So these three, two plays, you know, good example. And you'll see IFON. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm full of BS, watch how it performs over the next few days. Unless IFON issues some amazing news, which if I was IFON, I would, I would take advantage of the attention and issue some news. But if they don't issue any news, most likely it goes red. MTBC, actually did take advantages. They issued a few hyped up press releases and that's what caused this. So were they in on the pump? I don't know. You know, were they, are they going to do a financing? It wouldn't surprise me because I've learned from the past. And this stuff even works for higher price stocks too. If you look at CNAT, it's been uptrending, but it had two big green days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday it went red. SONS actually couldn't even go red, couldn't even stay green on day two. So Long story short, take away from this, when it is day two or day three after a big run-up on some, you know, not the best news. Like, none of these plays are like, oh, my God, this news is amazing. Um, when they're up on some hype or speculative news, it's very difficult for them to go green or stay green on day two, and especially day three. So you have to start trying to think about timing your shorts and <clears> – <throat> excuse me, reducing your long positions. Um, just start to understand that this is a process and it's not an exact science. I got to remind you, it's not like every single time this day three is going to be a red day. Sometimes if you catch the shorts off guard and you issue some news, day three can be a green day. But the vast majority of time, day three is a red day. And these are four good examples. Or IFON hasn't even proved it, but if my point holds true, you'll see it go red tomorrow. So I'll be in the chat room early. We got a lot of plays. I'll send a watch list later tonight, but I wanted to make this video lesson. Also, take advantage of this sale. I'll post a link to it just below this video. All these newsletters, only annual newsletters. A lot of people say, hey, I want to save on the monthly prices. We don't reward short-term students. If you think that you're going to learn everything in a month or two, you're sorely mistaken. So we reward you if you are truly committed to your education. And that's just one year, you know? If you wanna do two years, that's cool. I don't think any person ever to learn this stuff needs more than two to three years to really understand it. Um, I don't care how bad at math you are. All you need is really like a year, year and a half, two years. Uh, but that's what it takes. And also stocks to trade 
birthday special ends soon too. So I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. I got to go get a drink of water. <laughs> see ya.